Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Super excited to get this video out to you. Three days of eating. I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day to stay healthy, stay on track, and just to be the healthiest version of myself. So let's go. guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm the incredible shrinking Steffi. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, be a part of my journey, and allow me to be a part of yours. This channel is my journey to become the healthiest version of myself, both mentally and physically. My scale goal is to lose a total of 200 pounds from my highest weight of 374. I have lived as an obese person my entire life. I've dealt with food addiction and all the struggles that come with being an obese kid growing up like that. And I created this channel four years ago to hold myself accountable, continue on this journey, but also to inspire all of you to get healthy with me. I started my channel doing dirty keto and intermittent fasting. That is how I lost my weight in the beginning of this journey, switched to low carb and intermittent fasting. And now I pretty much stay low carb. I eat more clean than not, but a low carb lifestyle is 150 grams of carbs or less. So I just focus on getting protein in every meal that I eat and just being more active. I am now focusing on habits, eating habits and activity habits, and just improving my mental health overall because that is just what is most important. So I do share a lot of the mental struggles that go along with a weight loss journey, with a health journey, and just how hard it truly is. I share the real truth on this channel. So if that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, I have a support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables, so come join us over there. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All of that is down below. All right, guys, so let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you three days of eating, what I eat in a day to stay on track. Let's go. So we started out the day really well, got a workout in, and the kids actually exercised with me. Um, I did my vibration plate and the Pilates bar uh, this morning, and the kids were like running around, jogging, and they were using weights and the elliptical. So we did really well, didn't we? Yeah. Do you feel yeah, good? I yeah. I did everything back there except, except the vibration plate. You went jogging and you did planks? You did yeah. a plank. So we got our workout in this morning, which is great. Now um, for my first meal, it's 11.30. It's a little earlier than I normally do, but we are going on a bike ride. Well, I'm gonna walk around the uh, playground parking lot area while they ride their bikes. So just to get some more steps in today, it's gonna be a really good day. It's gonna be a really good active day. Uh, so I am eating eating a little earlier today, but I made a protein shake, a protein smoothie. So it's the way that I usually always make my protein smoothie that I have shown before, except I did do something a little different. So I do uh, one scoop of the Equip Prime Protein, which has 21 grams of protein. And I add three tablespoons of the Super Seeds, Organic Super Seeds, just to add a little bit more fiber in. I did add a tablespoon of PB2 to give it a little bit more peanut butter flavor. Um, but the thing that I did differently this time, I usually use my my perfect keto collagen. Um, I had the peanut butter flavor, but I ran out of that. So I did get this from Walmart, Vital Proteins, uh, collagen peptides. Four tablespoons of this is actually 18 grams of protein. So it adds so much more protein to my smoothie. So it's about 50 grams of protein, what I consume with my protein shake. So it's a great way to start my day, start my first meal. And we're gonna go get some more exercise today. So I will catch you back here later and show you what I eat for the rest of the day.
So I am actually uh, going out tonight, spontaneous girls night with my friend Pumby. We're gonna go out. So I just grabbed something really quick to eat for dinner while I'm getting ready. So I just cut up some cucumber slices and uh, mixed together a can of tuna with some mayonnaise. And that is just kind of like my go-to quick meal uh, with protein and it's just yummy and clean and just really, really good. So. I am eating that, finishing it up right now, and then I'm gonna go out tonight. So, spontaneous night, gotta love those nights. Um, but yeah, I guess that completes today. Oh, when I did get home from the walk with the kids, I did have a handful of mixed nuts. So that's pretty much all I did today. I may have a snack tonight. Usually when I do have a snack at night, it's my keto yogurts, um, or I'll have a cottage cheese. But I will definitely let you know what I have. All right, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so for today, kind of doing similar things morning and afternoon. Had my vanilla swirl coffee, two cups of hot coffee this morning, uh, mixed with some light cream. And I went on a hike. I went on a three mile hike today, which felt amazing, but my shins are like killing me. <laughs> I have like shin splints right now. <sighs> but anyway, um, it was a great hike though. I went the challenging way where I was going uphill a lot of the ways, but I love that. I love choosing the harder challenging uh, trails because it just, it gives me that great workout. It makes me feel really good. So I did that today, did a three mile hike and then um, right now it is actually 3.18. So I did fast longer than usual. Right now I'm eating a tomato fresh from our uh, tomato plants outside. And uh, I'm going to be cutting up some cucumber slices and having a can of tuna again, uh, just to get some extra protein. I did have a small handful of mixed nuts when I got home um, around like two o'clock maybe. Uh, so I did break my fast at that time, but having my first meal now, cucumber slices with a can of tuna, and then dinner will be later. So I will let you know what we eat tonight. <laughs> Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Back a year ago. 
All right, guys, so today is gonna be a busy day, but I already got some stuff done. This morning, I did have my quiet time with my two cups of vanilla swirl hot coffee. And then I did get my workout done. I did 20 minutes on the vibration plate and then did a full body workout on my Pilates bar, which I freaking love. It just makes me feel so good. Um, and right now I'm making a protein shake and then I gotta head out. I have to bring some stuff to uh, the school for Riley's class. And then I'm gonna go on a quick hike uh, just to get some steps in and feel good. But I'm gonna make a protein shake before we go. Changing it a little bit this morning, so this is what I'm doing. All right, so I have um, a cup of frozen strawberries, about a cup of frozen strawberries in here. And I'm gonna do the same protein powder that I always do, prime protein, but I'm gonna put two scoops of it. So that's gonna give me about 42 grams of protein just in that. I'm gonna leave the collagen out today. I'm just going to do uh, a tablespoon of the PB2 just to give it some peanut butter flavor. And of course, I'm gonna do my organic uh, super seeds to add more fiber, uh, plus another six grams of protein. And then I'm gonna put some uh, unsweetened almond milk in there. So uh, yeah, let's finish our protein shake. guys so sorry about the audio quality I am doing voiceover on my laptop but for dinner um, we had salmon baked salmon uh, with asparagus and we've been trying to eat more fish recently and uh, yeah I'll put the recipe link down below for the seasoning that Chris used for this fish but it came out really really good and we also uh, fried up some asparagus sauteed in olive oil and of course I add the uh, pink salt and black pepper pepper and uh, yeah it just comes out really good really firm really super yummy and then that is what we had for dinner tonight Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and join my support group on Facebook. I'll see you guys at the next video. Stay safe and choose health. Bye guys. I know you told your friend you're not okay Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes